All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Rob's Metals. And today, um, I have two boxes to unbox. Yeah, and yeah, one's from the US and one's from Korea. And you know, I've been waiting a couple of weeks for these to come in, so I'm pretty excited. Um, let me just turn down the music a bit. Yeah, so uh, the wife um, also has a new present, which is which is um, a carpet, um, a really huge uh, carpet um, steam mop cleaner thingy. Yeah, but anyway, I got my presents too. So these are the I bought myself a new wallet. Yeah, if you guys fans of gold bags, you should know probably maybe heard of this before. So the last edition was a brown one. Brown go back wallet. I tried to get some, but it was just totally sold out at the dealers. And um, now that the new um, go back, they they released these new um, black ones. So yeah, I think these are selling out pretty quick as well. And let's just have a look at what's what's inside. And so these are specially made to carry go backs in the US and especially as your as well as your cards. So. Yeah, you can put your credit cards and whatnot here. And you can put your currency notes here, yeah? So I think I'll, I'll have a few. I'll just have to count my count my go-backs. Uh, so I've, I think i got maybe 15 in. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of these will be going... Will be going to the guys who bought a lot of go-backs from me. In the past. Um, and... Yeah. So let me just just count them. One, two, three. And yep. So yep. That's that the correct number. And they all look like they're in good condition. So let's just put this put these aside. Maybe just leave just leave one here. And um, I'm supposed I'm supposed to get some go backs too in the shipment. Huh. The box is empty. That means the dealer must have put, must have hidden the go bags in one of these. I hope he remembered to give me my go bags. Are they in here? Oh yes, there we go. I should have started with this one. So yeah, so this is the go bag, and these are a few that I ordered from the dealer that were lacking from my own collection. So I hope I hope he didn't dent the notes. But the, the bottom, the edges can be dense sometimes if you put them. Yeah, but I think these, these wallets are custom made. So, it should be fine. So, this is the 10, 10 Nevada go back. Just Tita. So, Justice. Justice here. Let's put this here. Justice here. Oh. Yeah, can you imagine in US, people actually buy the wallets and put go backs in them and spend them like regular money? Yeah, and this one's my favorite. This is my favorite. So New Hampshire is like a. It's near the sea, right? It's a state, a state in US near the sea, and they have like a naval tradition. So the go back has, sort of, like a pirate theme to it. So that's why I, I, I like this one a lot. So the lady has a. A, pirate hat and stuff. So, yeah, I might I might. Do a special episode just on the go backs and go through them. One by one, but I got probably got to memorize all the art and what what it stands for. But the the attention to detail on these are just spectacular. Look, the cannon signifies something. Um, look at the back. There's a lighthouse, right? I don't know what pros prospiciant prospiciant here means. Probably something prospecting or something. And there's a whale there. It's a whale. That's a whale. Yeah. But for the go backs, it, it's it's quite hard to get a good picture. Um, can you see it's like blotchy? The only un unless you look at it from this angle, like a 45, 45 degree angle, then it doesn't get doesn't get that blotchy. You look at it like that. This angle. And yeah, then you get the nice picture. See. Yeah, but very nice. This here and what else does he have for me? So, 25 Utah. 
Yeah. Who knows if the financial system collapses, we might all be using go bags in the future, right? This is the biggest one. So the, even the biggest one fits just nice in the wallet. Um, and look, wow, look at that. It's nice to hold a gold coin, but yeah, it's really hard to describe the feeling of holding a gold bag. It's like so familiar yet yet so so innovative. So yeah, I'm not gonna stuff it back. This one's going. I'm gonna get some top loaders, and this one's going to the top loader. Yeah. So yep. So that's the gold bags for you. So I think since he put it in this wallet, this is gonna be my. My go back wallet, and I'll probably wrap this one up and um, give it to someone. Yeah, the the reason why I grabbed so many was the for some reason the the um, the dealer put them on sale. Okay, so let's check out the other box. Let's see what's in the other box. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, little Miss Stacker just came in. Um, can you please close the door for me? It's really noisy. Okay, and these are from Korea. So, um, yeah, they ran out of dog abbeys, so I couldn't order anymore. But um, look, the Koreans pack the stuff really well. Um, and guess what? I got another few of the um. Probably, I would say the last, the last of their stock. Yeah, always good to bring back some Aussie stuff, eh? And from the looks of it, all in mint condition. Oh yeah, the Great Southern Land. That's where we are at. Yeah. Well, not not so great recently with all the COVID that's going on in in Sydney. Okay, find me a toilet again. And yeah, and last of the shipment is I managed to get another um, batch of these in. So I sold out the last pre order and couldn't get my hands on any more of them. So these are just like the Beska bars from, from the um, New Zealand mint, but these are from the Royal Mint. And yeah, they just. They just sell out straight away wherever they're sold, right? And of course you can guess. I featured this in my last, one of my previous videos before and yeah, so lucky to get some from the Korean dealer at the, it's a high price but not super high. Yeah, more than $50 each but yeah, I think these will sell very well. Yeah, so how many did I got? Supposed to get nine. Let's hope I get nine. Yep. So now I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spare, yeah? So yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And let's see if it's uh if the quality is as good as the first batch. This is probably the, from the second batch. The first batch all had a slight marking over here. Uh, from the mint. Oh my god, look at that, so reflective. Yeah, so this. No, no, no spots, no clouding. Um, yeah, look really good. Oh my god. Yeah, so let's just have a look. Yeah, so yeah. Ah, oh, just as I was saying, everything is clean. Look, there you go, Royal Mint milk spot. That milk spot, probably that's a milk spot, isn't it? Could be a milk spot. Could be just a. A dust. You yeah, have to wipe it off and have a look. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, but milk spot on um, the frosted surface is okay. Usually you can wipe it away. And if you use the eraser trick where you use the eraser and rub it, it, it will go away. But if the milk spot is anywhere on this mirror surface, then yeah, there's no way you can get rid of it without actually scratching it slightly. So, yeah, very nice. Right. Thanks for watching and remember to remember to click like like, subscribe to the video and subscribe to my channel and 
Um, I'll see you in the next one.